Hello everybody! A lot of times in the comments below my videos I get asked a question which exercises you should do if you are of the age 60 and more. So today I decided to present you a complex of exercises for the age of 60 plus. First of all we need to make sure that we tackle the problem causing factors. I don't mean the hormone changes but rather the causes that you can influence like bad body posture, wrong neck position, hypo and hypertonus of face muscles, as well as overcontracted neck and trapezius muscles. All of those changes cause bulldog cheeks, double chin formation, and those are usually the problems that we want to tackle first. And therefore, to start off, we need to make sure that we always take care of the body posture and have a habit of keeping it right. And here is the first exercise. You can be either standing or sitting, and you should imagine how there is a string that goes through your spine and out of your head pulling you up. Your shoulders should be relaxed and stay in this position for several minutes. Another exercise you can do is several times a day come to a wall and touch it with the back of your head, your shoulder blades, your butt and your heels and stay in this position for several minutes. Again, your shoulders should be relaxed as well as your arms. You should get to the point where your muscles memorize this position and keep it throughout the day. The next exercise is going to open up your chest and bring your shoulders to the right position. Put your hands at the back of your head, bend your neck down, connect your elbows together, then raise your head back up, bring your elbows apart, trying to connect shoulder blades together. Do everything very slowly, starting off by doing it just 10 times and slowly building up. During this exercise, pay attention that your shoulder blades are actually connecting together and don't bring your head backwards. The next thing we should work with is trapezius muscle that gets more and more contracted day by day. By loosening of this muscle, we make sure that we elongate the backside of your neck and improve circulation. Massage your trapezius muscle, elongating and loosening it. Continue doing this massage for about a minute. And after that, move on to stretching out of your trapezius muscle. Hug yourself by your shoulders and relax them, feeling how your trapezius muscle is stretching out. And stay in this position for 20 seconds. After that, we are moving on to softening of the back side of our neck. Grab a big fold of tissue on the back of your neck and massage it between your fingers. After that, slowly move down to the area of the seventh vertebra. Yeah. 
After that, move on to the scalp massage. With the tips of your fingers, move the skin in all different directions, separating it apart from the bones. Paying a lot of attention to every area, like temple zones and back of your head. You can also grab your hair and move the skin apart more intensively. This exercise helps improving nutrition of all structures of your head, including skull bones. After that, we're moving on to the place of your ear attachment. Moving the skin apart right at the base of your ear. You should be very gentle, only touching it with the tips of your fingers. After that, place your fingers around your ear, like you can see on the video. And for the next exercise, you should be kind of moving your ear to the back of your head. Ear zone is very important for a lifting effect, therefore, please don't forget about those exercises. The next exercise is going to soften your forehead and your temple zones. Stick your fingers to the skin of your forehead and move it apart from the forehead bone. You should do it in all different directions. Next on is neck. You should be moving very slowly and gently. Bend your neck to the side. At the same time, make sure that your ear is facing upwards. You should be feeling how the side muscles of your neck are stretching. In order to increase the effect, you can put your hand on your head and put a little bit of pressure on it. Stay in this position for about 20 seconds. And repeat it on the other side. Bend your neck, your ears facing upwards, and you can give a little bit of pressure with your hand. You should be feeling how the side muscles of your neck are stretching. And stay in this position for 20 seconds. After that, you're going to do slow turns of your head, trying to look behind your shoulders. And now we are going to move on to the main muscle of our face, the chewing muscle. When it gets cramped, it shortens, pulling the lower jaw up. 
Tissues of your face that are located above the muscle are moving down and to the center, which causes bulldog cheeks. Therefore, it's crucial to loosen the chewing muscle by massaging it in circular motions. You should slightly open your mouth and massage the chewing muscle. And now we're going to work on elongating of the chewing muscle. Tap your fingers next to the line of your lower jaw and slowly open your mouth, feeling how the muscle is stretching out. After that, move your fingers up by one centimeter along the chewing muscle and repeat it again. Tap your fingers in and slowly open your mouth. Now to loosening of the circular eye muscle. Place your fingers right above your eyebrow, lifting it up. And in tapping circular motions, massage through the whole area under your eyebrow. After that, move your fingers, lifting the end of the eyebrow up. And with the fingers of the other hand, tap through the muscle till the middle of the orbital bone. And repeat the same exercises on the other side, placing your fingers right above your eyebrow, lifting it up, and in point tapping circular motions, massage the area under your eyebrow. Then moving to the end of your eyebrow, lifting it up, and with the fingertips of the other hand, Tapping along the muscle. Now to elongating of the lateral nose muscle. Start massaging in circular motions next to the wings of your nose, slowly moving upwards. Then bring your fingers back down, elongating the muscle. Now loosen the cheek muscles, get some air into your mouth and bring it from one cheek to another, keeping your hands on your lips to prevent unwanted wrinkles. Now we are going to work against purse string wrinkles. And for the first exercise, grab your lips between your fingers and give them a good massage. After that, roll your lips around your teeth and then slowly roll them out. After that, do a small loosening exercise. Now we are going to exercise cheekbone muscles. Roll your lips around your teeth Keep your hands on your cheeks to prevent unwanted wrinkles and try to smile, lifting corners of your lips up.
Repeat it 10 to 15 times. After that, we're going to relax the muscles of the middle part of your face. Bring your hands on your temples, pulling the skin upwards and form an oval with your mouth. Now we are going to loosen the muscles that pull corners of your lips down. Put your fingers in the place of the presser muscle attachment and tap them deeply into the skin. And slowly open your mouth. Your fingers should be slowly moving upwards, elongating the muscle. You can do this exercise on dry skin or apply some of your favorite face cream, let it absorb and then do the exercise. And to finish off, we're going to work with the neck muscle platysma. Put your hands right above your collarbones, pulling your skin down, bring your chin upwards and then move your lower jaw out by one centimeter, feeling how your muscles are stretching. Repeat it 10 times. This whole complex you can do every day for about one and a half to two weeks. After that, move on to the maintenance mode. Do it two to three times a week. If you found our video interesting, subscribe to our channel. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to click the bell and follow all of our latest videos.